Hey everybody, RPG here. Today I'm gonna to show you guys how to set up your favorites collection in Bodicera. So first and foremost, if you're unable to locate favorites here when you're scrolling through your different collections on Bodicera like this, then I'm gonna first show you guys how to actually make it populate in here. So first thing we need to do is we need to jump into our main menu. If you're using a gamepad controller, go ahead and hit your start button. It's gonna open up like this. And if you're using a keyboard, you can hit your space bar. That will open up your main menu as well. Once we're in our main menu, we're gonna drop down to game collection settings, which is the fifth option down. We'll select that. And we're gonna jump right into the second option here, which is automatic game collections. So we'll select that. And here under the first selection here of automatic collections, you'll notice the third option down is favorites. I have it checked here, which is why you can see it in the background. But if you're experiencing the issue where you're scrolling through your different collections on Bodicera and you're unable to locate it, then you probably have it looking like this where it's not checked. So go ahead and check it. Once you have it checked here, you can just back out by hitting your back button here and you'll be able to see it just like this. Depending on what your theme is, it may look different than this, but it'll still be a favorites collection nonetheless. So once we have our favorites collection populated in here, we want to start adding some of our favorite games to it. So if I open it up like this, you can see it says no entries found. That's just because I haven't actually added any titles into my favorites collection. So let's back out and let me navigate through a couple collections here and we'll pick a few games that are my favorites. So I'm gonna jump into Midway here. So this right here is actually one of my absolute favorite games of all time, two on two open ice challenge. So I'm actually going to add this to my favorites. And what I wanna do here is I'm using a PlayStation style controller. So I'm gonna hold down the X button and you'll see here, it brings up a bunch of different options here, but under collections here, it says add to favorites. So I'm gonna just select that. And you notice we get a confirmation at the top that it was added to favorites. So I'm gonna back out of this collection and before I jump into the favorites to test this out, let me add just a couple more real quick. So let's jump in Sega. Let's add, this is a good one, Alien 3 The Gun. Same thing, hold down X. Go ahead and hit add to favorites. We'll get that confirmation up top and we'll back out once again. Let me just add one more in here. Let's go into um, Nintendo Entertainment System and we'll jump up here to uh, WWF WrestleMania. So same deal here, hold down the X button, that brings up our options for the title, and we'll go to add to favorites. Same deal, get the confirmation up top, so let's back out to our collections, and let's locate our favorites. So here's our favorites, we'll go ahead and open that up, and boom, we have all three titles that we just added, located right here in our favorites collection. And you can add as many games as you want on here. And now let's say that you accidentally added a game that you don't want in here, or you've played a game a bunch of times and you no longer want it taking up space on your favorites list. All we have to do here is just go to the title. So let's say I want to remove WWF WrestleMania. Same exact process as what we did to add it. We're going to hold down the X button and now we're gonna go down to collections and just hit remove from favorites. We get the confirmation up top, but we have it in the background. So we can see now that it's no longer located in our favorites collection. So that's gonna do it for this video, short and sweet. Really a um, simple process here, but it can be a little bit confusing because it does differ ever so slightly from some of the other emulation platforms out there. Uh, like RetroPie, for example. So that's gonna do it for this video today. If you enjoyed this video and you found it helpful, please smash the like button on this particular video and be sure to also subscribe to our YouTube channel because we do a ton of different videos based around retro gaming, anything from product reviews, uh, gameplay demos, tutorials like this video here. And then we also have the Forgotten Favorites series, which comes out every single Monday and Thursday night. All right, so that's gonna do it for this video today. Thanks for watching.